Hello out there subscribers and friends, this is Surviving 2 coming at you with another video. Hello out there in YouTube land. Well I've kind of got the machete disassembled, I got the old handles off of it. Everything cleaned up on it. As you can see, I put a nice coat of black paint on there to not only protect it a little more to stop any rust that was already on there. Before I put the paint on it, I ended up cleaning it with alcohol real good till the pads came back clean. Then I went ahead and put the black paint on there. And that's high temp paint too, so if at any time when I'm working on the edge, it should uh, help it a little bit, I think. We'll see. Well, I got the scales to go on there. What I'm gonna end up doing is, you can see this is pretty long, this piece of wood. And I found out that they're different, a little bit different thicknesses. So I gotta work with that a little bit. But there's only three holes, and I want a lanyard. I want a lanyard hole. Somebody made a comment about that in uh, my other video when I was first talking about this. And, oh yeah, it's got to have a lanyard. So what I'm going to end up having to do is drill two more holes, because I want three holes to hold it with, and to have pins in there and a design. And then I'm going to have a, the fourth hole back here as the lanyard hole. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the distance between these two right here and split it and put two more holes, one right in here, one right in here. That way I'll balance all four holes out. Now here's the pins I've been working on. Hang on. And here's a piece of tube I got. Now this is just aluminum stock. It's a uh, Nine thirty seconds and by 0.014. Anyway, it's aluminum tube, and I figure what I'll do is drill these holes out to fit. Well, not that one, but the two new ones, and then drill that one out to fit this tube. And it's aluminum tube coming through and just sticking up should look. Get it in camera there. Should look pretty good. It'll be pretty interesting. Now, inside of this tube, I've got some other stuff I'm going to put in there. Already got it all cut down. I've got some brass rods. Uh, I think they're about an eighth inch thick. I don't know what thickness they are. They're really thin. And then I've also got some copper wire. Three, four, five. And I'm taking five brass rods to the one copper and I'm going to set it as soon as I can get everything to cooperate here I probably I'm going to have to flare this tube just a smidgen when I go to put this all in let me get it even and I don't want to shove it all the way down in there because you'll never <laughs> I'll never be able to get it out but uh, let's see if I can get that up. That's kind of what it's going to look like. There's five brass rods around the one copper one, and then it'll have the aluminum tube as the outer one. And when that gets all sanded down, it should be a pretty neat looking design on the outside of here. And I'll probably end up doing polyurethane on here. I thought about linseed oil, I thought about uh, some other stuff but I think I'm going to go with the polyurethane on here that way I'm going to epoxy these onto here and the tubes into everything so that should hold it pretty good and I'm going to try and fill this tube with epoxy so that and it's a clear epoxy too so that should look pretty cool anyway that's what it's looking like so far. I'll show you more details here in a bit. Well, alrighty then. 
here we go. I got the epoxy. I got some C clamps. I got my two pieces of wood. Got all my little parts cut and ready that I need to go in. Got the holes drilled here in the machete. I got them drilled in there and ready to go. And yeah, Greg, I took your advice. I put something on the blade so I don't cut myself. <laughs> All right, and I've got a couple of pieces of wood to go on the outside of each one of them so I clamp it together. I won't leave marks on my wood. I've got some rubber gloves here. One for each hand, naturally, and a third one to go in between and around all this and you'll see how that goes in a little bit but let me get get my gloves going get a first coat I'm gonna try and get one of the handles on here and the pins in it and get it ready to go and then I'll come back to you because I won't bore you to tears with all of this well nothing's together just yet <laughs> I ran onto some issues. My little pins that I cut to put into the tubes here, well, when I cut the tubes, I used a tubing cutter. So it crimped the inside of the tubes down more than I realized. I had realized that though, and I had reamed them out a little bit, but apparently it shrunk the tubing. So on it, when I went to put the pins in, you see I got a batch of glue here it's uh, gone it's already dried up for the most part but when I went to put the pins in I couldn't get them all in there <laughs> the tolerance is so close so what I had to do was take in put the pins in separately so now I've got all the pins in there they're not glued and when I put them in to my pegs here and get it all done I'll go ahead and glue them some more I'll put some epoxy down on the inside of the tube in hopes that it goes up in there so here I go with round two of the epoxy well there it is I got the first part of the handle on there and the pins are coming through nicely now I've got to get the second part on there and get some epoxy on it and we'll see where we go from there well that was a real pain I had to get out the BFH although that's not the biggest one I got but it works <clears throat> I had it going together as you see my pins are down pretty far on this side and they're out pretty far on this side I tried to drive them in some more but wasn't gonna happen so I'll just leave it setting like that I can go ahead and clip them off then fill that into there I can use a coping saw or something it's real soft metal let me get you up here where you can kind of see what's going on and I went ahead and used one clamp on this side. The other side, I had a bit of a bow in the middle. Didn't realize it. I got it all clamped together there. So, let that sit like that for 24 hours. And I should be good to go. Then I can go ahead and clip these longer edges off on both sides and start whittling down the wood to where I want it. I'm going to probably take it right down to this metal here so that I follow the contours. There's a couple of contours in it for the handle grip and some other stuff. And I might end up redoing the grip a little bit. We'll see as it goes and I get my hand on it. So more details later well all the C clamps are off 
and everything seems to be holding up pretty good it clamped in real well even the warpage of the metal it held real well it's not separated or anything and now you can see how much the pins stuck up on the one side compared to the other side which isn't a real big problem the little pins inside are still all right there they'll be at a good level once I cut it all down and sand it all down they should be at a, a good level so once I level everything out so shouldn't be a problem now I just got to take a coping saw after it and cut it down to the level of the metal and take all the excess wood off and take all the excess metal off of here and that's what you're going to see next is once I get that done and maybe even some rasp, rasping done and some filing done and get that ready. So more details later. Well here's a quick update on the machete. I've got the handle formed. It's not finished yet. Nothing's finished yet. I hadn't got everything painted. But I do have the handle formed. I haven't got the polyurethane on it. I've got all the pins cut down. And I've got everything kind of sanded down. I've got to put uh, paint on the handle in here. And back here and on here. And I've got to kind of round this out a little bit back in here. And I've got to put the polyurethane on here. And then finish up painting in the blade and and uh, doing the edge of the blade up in here a little more. But uh, it's getting there. The next update, it should be complete. So, more details later. Well, uh, this is uh, the end to the machete update. There it is. That's the end to it. I finally completed it. Now, I put a gloss coat on the blade. That probably will not last long. But, I'll show you the pins and the handle. And let me get to where I can see the viewfinder and get this up close to where you can see how those pins turned out I'm hoping that's focusing on those pins and then the lanyard hole and I went ahead and left the metal a bright metal and the pins on this side are the same way. I used five brass pins and one copper one in the center with an aluminum tube and they're all slid into it. So, not too bad. I could have done better, but considering it's the first time I've ever done something like this. I think it turned out pretty sweet. And it all fits in there nice and neat. So it'll work for me. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. Y'all take care. Later. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.